Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I am going to take you through the steps in setting up a 40 gate VM on VMware Workstation. It's important you know how to set up your own lab environment with a 40 gate VM so that you can practice the things you learn on this channel. To download a 40 gate VM, log into your Fortinet customer portal. On the VM Images download page, Select FortiGate as product and VMware ESXi as platform. Click on the download button below. After download, extract the downloaded file. Launch your VMware workstation. On the home tab, click on open a virtual machine. Navigate to the folder containing the extracted files and choose the file by name FortiGate-VM64. Accept the terms of the license agreement. Enter a descriptive name for your virtual machine and click on Import. A new FortiGate VM comes with 10 ports. Network adapter corresponds to port 1 on the FortiGate. Network adapter 2 corresponds to port 2 and so on. By default, all the ports are assigned a bridge network connection. This is how I have configured the virtual network adapters in my VMware workstation. Now let's bridge port 1, that is, connect it directly to the external network. Connect port 2 to VMNet 1 to communicate with other VMs. And NAT port 3, that is, share it with the host IP address. You may assign any unused port on the FortiGate to an unconfigured virtual network adapter or even disconnect them. Power on the VM for the first time. Login with username admin and no password. Now set your new password. The virtual network adapter, VMNet 8, which is assigned to port 3, has a DHCP service enabled on it. Let's set port 3's mode to DHCP and allow ping, HTTP, and HTTPS access on the port. Use the CLI command Get System Interface Physical to see the IP address given to port 3. Before we log in to the FortiGate, let's manually assign an IP address to port 2. From your PC, open a browser and enter the IP address assigned to port 3. Mine is 10.10.8.128. Log in with the username and password. Your FortiGate VM is now ready. We have come to the end of this tutorial. Get ready for more practical tutorials. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel.